Hello watcher and subscribers today we are going to see about the looping concept in scratch so this is the proper definition of looping looping in a programming languages is a feature which facilitate the execution of set of instruction repeatedly while some condition evaluate true right now maybe you are feeling it difficult but don't worry you will understand everything so whenever in a programming language you are getting such kind of output or you want certain kind of repetition for example here a is repeating total five times so in that case you can refer the looping suppose one is repeating repeating total five times so you may use looping so here one two three four five here particular number is not repeating but we use same kind of logic for getting this output for example if you increment 1 by 1 you will get 2 if you increment 2 by 1 you will get 3 so same kind of logic is there so we will use looping looping here also you will use uh, looping because um, so here 1 after 1 4 is there after 4 9 is there so 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4, 3 into 3 is 9, 4 into 4 is 16, 5 into 5 is 25. So, in for getting every number, we are doing the square concept as you learn in the math. So, same kind of logic is repeated in a program. So, in that case, we use the looping. So, loop, uh, looping concept is used whenever you are repeating same kind of instruction or same kind of logic in the program, we refer the looping because the use of looping is it save time and the coding effort how it save the time that we will see in the programming so in the looping in the scratch tutorial we will see first forever loop it never ends and repeat some statement again and again that is the important point of the loop so forever means what happen it execute again and again and it never uh, you can say end that is what forever loop Next loop is you can say repeat loop. Repeat loop means it repeats some statement fixed number of time. For example, if you want some statement to be repeated three times, then we will prefer repeat loop. Okay. If you want to execute statement again and again, okay, till your script will run, then you will use forever. But suppose if you want to repeat your statement fixed number of time, like three times, five times, then we will use repeat and the last is repeat until loop it repeat a block of code till a stopping condition is meet okay so by using repeat until loop the particular statements are repeated when uh, it is uh, reaching to particular end destination or particular criteria then loop will stop so here in the scratch programming we have three types of loop forever repeat and repeat until now on the basis of this we will three we will uh, see three separate program so here now i have opened the scratch online application and here i will do the programming and uh, here first i want here event when this sprite is click okay suppose this one i want i just increase the size so that it will be clearly visible to you and uh, here in the control category i want this forever so under this forever i want to repeat some statement again and again so here in the looks category i am just adding this statement and while the execution of the code i want there is a weight also so now i just click on this sprite so you see it is running and when i click on this sprite it is showing this hello again and again and it is not stopping it is continuously running so that is what the forever loop so now you understood practically what is forever loop so forever loop means what it is continuously executing or it is continuously repeating some block of statement and it never stop so that is the concept of forever now i just stop this and uh, here i want to make it duplicate block so here in this duplicate block in place of forever now here i want so here 
I want the repetition fixed number of time. For example, three time. So in place of when the sprite is click, I want here different action. I want when the flag is click. So when the flag is click, it will be repeated three time. This is first time, then second, then third one okay then after that it will not repeat so whenever we click on this flag it will repeat this coding three time first time it will show hello then it will wait one second two time three time so in this way if you write here five it will be repeated five times so that is what the repeat means it is repeated a fixed number of time so now here uh, as you understood forever and repeat now here i will write the code for repeat until so in the repeat until this is what the repeat until so here in this uh, story actually i would like to add a sample background you can say suppose i am adding this background and uh, along with that i am adding suppose one more sprite that is balloon so here in the condition i am going into the sensing category and uh, touching so i want this touching into the condition just place it like that and uh, here touching to the balloon now here for running this code actually first i should remove this otherwise there will be problem at the type time of running the code so i want to run this code i this one also i removed so that you don't have confusion so now i run this code it is showing hello so it is continuously executing and when it will touch to the balloon now you observe there is no output so what happen here the output will be generated hello and it will wait for one second but when you run this you see output is coming but the condition is that when it touch to balloon okay then it will stop okay so repeat till uh, repeat till touching to the balloon so once that criteria is met then it will satisfy and it will stop the running so in repeat until what happen it will repeat the block and when it uh, jump to particular criteria then at that time or particular condition then at that time uh, its condition is false and it will stop working so i hope dear student you understood three loop forever forever means continuous repetition repeat uh, after that we had seen repeat repeat means it is repeated a fixed number of time and third one is repeat until so repeat until means it is repeated and once it satisfy particular criteria then it will stop working so i hope dear student you understood this and you have to practice also thanks for watching this thank you